Would you do uh, 20 for these three? I think you're asking 25. Um, it's 10, 10, and 5. You're doing donations? Yep. Okay. I got one board game. Awesome. It's like $3. That's great. Thank you. Thank you. Have a great day. You too. Hey guys, it's Friday morning, and this morning my wife took the kids into school so I could get a head start at the garage sales because she's amazing and I love her. So I hit a sale already, and now I'm at a neighborhood sale, and she's going to meet me here, and we're going to hit some garage sales together. And I'm really excited about it because we rarely get to do that. So she should be here any minute. Hey, I'm here. Ready? Yeah. So you want ready. some money? I would love some money. I'll go shopping. Awesome. <laughs> Let's go. I bought it, and then our dog doesn't like to. Did you take three for these? Yes. Okay, thank you. Thank you, ma'am. Mm -hmm. Thank you. How much for your gymnastics? Um, they're all 50 cents for the clothes. Oh, sweet. Yeah, okay. Then... You got two? Uh, yeah, I'll just take two. Okay. You think it's gonna fit her? Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah? Emily's yeah. in charge. You're the money person, there you go. Thank you. Thank you, good luck with the sale, guys. Thank you. I have an observation, because at the last two sales, someone, there's stuff down there. When somebody asked, how much, how much is this? When somebody says, like the way that they respond, I feel like you can tell if they're gonna go lower. There's space up there. Okay. So when they say like, oh, I've got, I put three on it. Or like just the way in which they say it, mm -hmm. they give away if they're like, they, they almost admit like, oh yeah, it's high. Yeah, like I'll take less. Yeah. But then if they're like, it's three. Like if they're assertive. Yeah, I've, so if you're having a garage sale, be assertive because people are giving themselves away because yep. like, yeah, this looks like a good sale. Yeah, let's go. go. I got three and one and one, so I got five bucks here. Okay, perfect. I can get it out. There you go. Thank, Thank you. Thank you. All right, I'm gonna get this for two dollars and then that for a dollar. Wait, what else did you buy? Oh, the bed? Yeah. Oh, my bad. So four plus two is six. Yeah, because she always tries Thank to make you. beds for her babies. Now she has. Ah. <laughs> That's like it fits two of them too. We yeah. Have two of ours and girl dolls, so. <laughs> Thank you. I think I, I think I want this. So she's gonna have. We have we have one but she's uh is a four to six and she's starting to get out of it. So yeah. Kinda want the next size up. Okay, so I'm gonna pay yeah, for this I need to take a paper. Sound good. Same three dollars. You go. No, you gotta pay for yours. Oh, yeah. No, I'm not paying for your crap. Thank <laughs> you. <laughs> That's come out of a bank or something? It did. That is cool. Yep, it came out of a bank and it has like a dolly to go with it and wow. then all the keys. Interesting. Hey, would you do five for your bat? Uh, yeah, sure. Okay, you have any gloves or anything? Um, you know, let me, if you give me just a second. Yeah, sure. I can definitely look. There you go. That's for you. Thank you, you. you ma'am. I'll wait for you. Yep. 
Oh, cool, you found gloves. Yeah. Yep. You want me to hold them? Oh, sure, thanks. So I've got these. And I'd probably do five for the bigger ones and the smaller one, like two. Okay. See if I got another five. No, she just went through the store. This is from Dreamable Best Salon. Uh, see if you got a five. I think I got a five here. Cool. Thank you, ma'am. Perfect. Good luck with you. your sale. Hey, hey. Ma'am? Sorry. No, you uh, how much for this? One? Your wedding gift. So I get um, what did I put on there? It probably like flew off. I had five. Five? Yep. I'm thinking about putting this by, you know where our birthday board is? I'm thinking about taking that down and putting something like that up. Okay. Do like it. A yeah, I'll pay her for it. Okay. I'll hold your glove. Thanks. I'll get that. Okay. Do you use anything in here like just the box and then the dresses or two? For the mirror. She is? Thank you. Perfect. Thank you. She shut the door. All right, we're down in the neighborhood, and Whitney has to go back home and do some work. Yeah, I gotta get to work, but it was nice. Yeah, thanks for coming. I feel like that's like the most sales I've been able to hit. Yeah, what did we hit? Like a dozen sales. Cars beeping at us. Yeah, um, yeah, it was a good amount of sales, and I think for the most part, like usual, I bought for Darcy. Didn't find anything for Sawyer. Well, you get yourself a mirror. Um... The house a mirror myself it's for the house. <laughs> Oh yeah, buy yourself something nice, honey. Yeah, get something real nice. <laughs> For the house. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, we actually got a lot of stuff in here, so. Yeah. When I get back to the warehouse, I'll pull it out and show you guys. Cool. All right, have fun at work. I love you. Love you. Yeah. Yeah. Cool, man. I How's watch your show all the time. Awesome. Thanks, yeah. man. What's your name? Ben. Nice to meet you, Ben. Nice to meet you. You find anything? Uh, just a couple stuff. Just yeah. Around the house. Man. Yeah. There's a lot around here. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Hey, nice meeting you. Nice meeting you too. Good luck. Three dollars. Okay, yeah. I didn't know if we priced it. Oh, see, Frank, that guy's definitely already bought. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's, that's already sold. sold there. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. You, better, you better watch me, man. I'll buy everybody's stuff up. You can sell it twice. Well, we can't sell it twice. I better pay for it, hadn't I? <laughs> <laughs>
How much are the bobbleheads? Oh, I don't know. I didn't see one on these. The one, the one bobble's head said three. That okay. was out of the box. I don't know. Oh, she's in her car. What is she doing? Right? I guess. Yeah. So I'm up to six for these. Okay. Uh, the ball is two. Okay. That's eight. The bat is three. That's eleven. Okay. And then this framed picture is three. Fourteen dollars. Thank you. Thank you, ma'am. All right. Thank you. Good luck to you. Oh, okay. Good morning. I think there's only two sales on this. I kick his butt. Well, you know, you're right. Did you do uh, 20 for these three? I think you're asking 25. Um, it's 10, 10, and 5. Because I know he wants to be, he wanted $10 for each of those. Yeah. Could you throw um, that in then if I'm getting these two? Yes. Okay, thank you. You need your hangers back? Um, there you go. Uh, yeah, I'll go ahead and take them off. Care. Not a bit. He didn't want off. Thank, you. thank you, ma'am. You're welcome. Have a good day. You too. All right, I'm back from the garage sales and I got a ton of really good stuff today. All right, starting over here, I got this Cincinnati Reds framed print. Shows all the uniforms over the years. Paid $3 for that. Tempted to keep that, actually. I got a new sealed Cupcake Diaries uh, book set for $3. Got a couple baseball gloves, $5 each. Um, this is Rawlings uh, RBG 36. It's, you know, brand new. It's like a 40 or $50 glove, so I should be able to get about 25 for that. Uh, this is a little bit nicer. This is a, um, I'm pretty sure it is a uh, first base mitt, and it might even be a softball first base mitt. No, maybe not. Uh, if you're ever curious, you can look on gloves, and they'll generally have a model number. And this one, it's really, really long. It's kind of hard to read, but it says, a0800 BBB M12. Um, and the BB is baseball. Uh, baseball mitt is the BBM. And if it said SB, it'd be softball. So that's a good way to distinguish uh, softball gloves from baseball gloves. And you got the MLB logo right there, too. So it's the A800 first base mitt. I should get about $40 for that. Got a couple hats. This Camargo Cadillac for a dollar. That's a local Cadillac dealer. And this vintage Honda racing hat. I was so excited when I found this. I didn't even look at the condition. It's got a big hole right there. It is really cool. If it was in good condition with no damage, it might be worth 50 bucks. I'm still going to list it. Just put it damaged. You know, if somebody just wants to collect it or somebody wants to try to repair it, maybe get 20 bucks for it. But I paid a dollar each for those. Got this reproduction cast iron fire truck for $2. Uh, I got some Coca-Cola glasses. I typically don't buy these kinds of things, but it was new sealed in the box. So I thought I might do okay with it. I paid five for that. Picked up a couple bobbleheads where I sell a Glacius and Brandon Phillips. Those were $3 each. And an autographed Pokey Reese ball for $2. Hmm, it's not an American League ball. That's interesting. He played for the Reds for a long time, but I don't know if he ever went to an American League team. So I'm gonna have to look and see. I got this Carroll Town figure, uh, Katie O'Donnell's restaurant. I paid $3. Might be worth about 30 or 40. I've done pretty good with these. Got a couple VHS tapes. <laughs> these, these aren't worth any money, I'm sure. They were a dollar each. Uh, this one is from the Kroger Video Center. It's a local grocery store. And I have my brother and sister-in-law both work for Kroger. So I'm gonna give this to them. I think they might get a kick out of that packaging. And then this is just a um, Blockbuster blank tape. 
it's not sealed, so somebody probably reported on it. Oh, look at that. That's not even what it is. <laughs> it's the Jetsons. <laughs> so I've just got the box. I just thought the Blockbuster box was cool, so I picked that up. All right, coming over here, I bought some jackets. I've got two Cleveland Indians jackets and a denim jacket. She was asking 25 for all three, and I got all three for 20. And this one right here, I think both of them, both the Indians are the same. Uh, it's the Cooperstown collection. Uh, this is modeled after the 1948 World Series champions, made by Mirage, extra large. Needs to be hit real good with the lint roller, but besides that, it is pretty cool. Obviously, June is a terrible time to try to sell big jackets like this, but I'll list it and sit on it until it starts getting cold again. I'm hoping maybe 40, 50 bucks. Here's the other Cleveland Indians. This is also Cooperstown collection, I believe. Let's see here. Hall of Fame. Yeah, Cooperstown collection. Anytime you see Cooperstown collection uh, for baseball stuff, pick it up. It generally sells pretty good. They do all kinds of clothing and different types of things, so I try to grab it when I find it. And this is for the 1950s. Let's see here. American League Champions. That's pretty cool. 1954. That old Indians logo on there. And here is the denim jacket. It's a Levi Strauss. I'm not sure if it is vintage or not. I'm really not sure how to tell vintage Levi, but I just thought it had a good look to it. I mean, it's got a couple dirty spots, but it's not that bad. I think somebody's going to buy it. All right, here's some more stuff I found. I got a whole bunch of DVDs at one sale. They had price tags of like $20, $30 a set, but the lady said they were all a dollar a piece, so I picked a bunch up. I got five seasons of Smallville, seven seasons of Buffy the Vampire Slayer, two He-Man Masters of the Universe box sets, and four seasons of Futurama. And I got two seasons of rides then at another sale pick this up for two dollars i've sold a number of these over the years adventures and odyssey they usually sell around 15 20 bucks something like that so keep an eye out for those if you find them a couple of ohio renaissance festival mugs uh, they're marked two dollars each but i um, bundled them with the coke glasses and got a couple dollar discount so i'm into each of these for a buck a piece picked up this old game go fascinating game of military strategy from the 60s i paid three dollars for that got a couple of bats this is a worth softball bat i paid five bucks and i'm not totally sure on the value only two sold comps that i saw and both of them accepted best offers it might be worth 40 or 50 bucks this one right here is a uh, fast pitch softball bat. This one right here, slow pitch. I paid three dollars. It might be worth 20 25 This might be the coolest find of the day. Uh, this is an old hammered copper watering can. I paid ten bucks for it. Very hard to find comps on something like this. I found similar ones that might be worth a hundred bucks or so. Got this Hot Wheels Maximum Destruction Off Road Battle. I actually saw this and walked away and looked it up as I was leaving the sale and I'm like, yeah, I better go back and get that. This is totally sealed. I paid five dollars and I think I'll sell for about 30. Got some Apple stuff at one sale. I got an Apple keyboard, got an Apple charger. This is a two terabyte time capsule, which I think is just an external hard drive. And this Logitech uh, wireless ball remote. I paid 25 bucks for all those. But I think by far the best find of the day was some coins that I got. I found these near the end of the day, so my GoPro batteries had died on me. So I didn't get a chance to film at that sale. But let's see here. A couple of these are copies. Um, both of these are restrike coins. Uh, I think this one might still be worth about $20. It's a restrike of an 1861 half dollar. Uh, this one may be five or 10. It's an 1862 Confederate cent copy. Uh, I got some American uh, Frontier nickel set. These are all uh, old Buffalo nickels from the early 1900s. I got three mint sets from 1964. It's those right there. And then just some Mazanin's loose coins. Here it is, an 1883 dime. Here is a 1939 dime. 1946 half dollar. Here is a 1936 Daniel Boone half dollar. Here's an 1881 Morgan dollar. This is a 1925, uh, I think it's Stone Mountain half dollar. I was really excited to find those. I paid $30 for all of them. It's super rare that I find silver coins at a garage sale. My dad is a really big coin collector and I sent him pictures of all that stuff. So all that stuff's going straight to him. That's it for this video, guys. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.